Well, hello everyone, here with another LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog review, and this one's on uh, Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman's Death Egg Robot. <coughs> so, on the front of the box here, we would have the LEGO Star Wars logo, or, I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog logos, likely, and also the same board that we see on all the set boxes. And recommended ages is eight and up. A uh, set number uh, 76993 has 615 pieces, and also a picture of the whole set in action in Green Hill Zone, of course. And so, side box art, of course. Now, onto the back side, we would have. Uh, some alternate shots of the set and a couple features of it and also the logos again and uh, and on to the instruction manual uh, which kind of generic covering uh, like we've seen since last year uh, and then front page with The transition to paper bags and add for the builder app. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. And then add for all the other sets that I have been reviewing. And then the last building steps. And now on to the mini books. The first of which have Sonic the Hedgehog himself. Which, same as that comes in a couple other or a few other sets of this wave. So pretty much half the line include this version, of course, but Still good for that. And also we have Dr. Eggman, and a which first appearance of him along with the largest set of this wave, of course. But however, that he which comes in about four pieces. So, uh, let me see. You see that the arms of which, just the same as Hagrid from Harry Potter, of course. And which connect on Technic pin connections, and then the legs of which, which are the uh, long legs that have brought back last year, well with the Avatar sets, of course, but still good to see those around, of course, but the rest of which, a whole specific shaped body piece, but downfall not only head movement, of which, but at least still kind of close to that of the a uh, brick build fig of him that came with the ideas set, of course. And then in the center of which we have Cubot, which comprises mostly a battle droid uh, body piece, but in yellow, which we don't see very often, of course, but at least nice to see with some, which you can use for some custom battle droids and stuff. But, and then the headpiece of which consisting of mostly a, a clip piece and also roller skate piece there. And of course this was only reference to Sonic Boom in this uh, wave of course. But however, and kind of odd that we don't get Orbot as well. But maybe he'll come in another set down the line, but whatever. But at least it's still nice to have some referencing to that show here. And also do get uh, three little clear characters like a blue flicky like we see saw in the Sonic Sphere challenge set. And also a couple other. And also the bunny that we've also seen in a couple other sets. And also that. And the little turtle as well, of course. And as for the back side of all of them, at least same back printing as the other sets for Sonic and Dr. Eggman the Witch. Quite nice back torso printing and also kind of nice sculpting all around him, of course. 
and of course this out. So nice printing as well, of course. And I guess that is about it with that. A witch. And now, oh, one other side build a witch is just the speed sphere and launcher, of course. And if you want to see this, then you can put him in like so. In so now, if you want to see this in action or see any more of this, because it would same build that's also included in the uh, Green Hill Challenge set and the Sonic Speed Fears or Sphere set. So if you want to see this in action, go check out my review for the Sonic Speed Sphere set uh, right up there, of course. And also do get this little ramp piece with the uh, cautionary kind of plate on there. And just regular ramp piece. Oh, there's not much to say, but just fine. And also a little dish piece with a, a little ring piece, also, which also comes in a couple other sets, and also just fine as is. And also, you get a 2x6 plate with jumpers on it, and also these little spirit like pieces, like we see in uh, some Harry Potter sets, of course. And of course, good to have as a little obstacle uh, for launching the speed sphere, of course. And then next to which is this little contained kind of part. Which is all resting on a, a 4x8 plate, of course. And of course, this little part uh, of which just few uh, bricks there and also a, a diamond piece in blue but uh, also represented as a blue chaos emerald of course with a lever piece and also a uh, little tile piece with a control panel on and also get a couple of steering wheel pieces and a technic ball piece representing a extra griefling on top and of course a macaroni piece or ma technic macaroni piece there of course so this little center witch would comes off quite easily since of course part of the speed sphere challenging part of it and also to get this little technic bit for it of course where you can like put the rears into and get the dome piece and put it over it but however and if you wonder is it attached to anything in there well actually not it's just resting on there of course, you can like just take your socks, speed sphere of it, and just knock it off like so. And that's about it there. And now on to the Death Egg robot itself, which this whole design, of which kind of similar to what we had in the original Sonic Two game, but. And but well, also a bit like how it was in uh, Sonic Mania, of course. So like, as we're onto the feet, which as you see, quite thick and chunky, and of course all this whole color scheme consisting of a uh, light gray and light red, of course, but also a bit of lime green mixed in, probably to represent as little bits of Green Hill Zone or something. And of course, a little bit of good amount of snot here with the plates, of course. And also the uh, curved slopes in the back, of course. And as for the upper legs of which, which comprised of like a, a curved slope of two kinds and also some more snot going on here, just like on the sides of the feet. and. Also pieces, pizza slice, tile pieces, adding as extra bits to that, of course. And of course, consisting of kind of a ball joint in there. And as for, and as for the hip part of which, which is built with uh, where the ratchety joints, of course. Okay. And 
that's for the main body part, which which is consisting of mostly a like curved uh, slopes going on upwards and downwards, of course, and also a uh, side slopes, which we barely see much any much nowadays, but it's nice to see in this uh, one, of course. There's a nice curving on the sides of it. And on the back side is this whole entire jetpack kind of build with those balloon bottom part pieces, but in black, uh, but used as thrusters. Nice to see there. You can see a lot of those uh, rounded plates. It's, it's, and also the single bit of snot used on this is to hold this little round plate on there. But at least this is which nice piece to use in mocking, of course. There's and so now one of the features is if you press on this, and it's supposed to like make the front part launch forward. But not I'm not sure if that's just me, but or whatever. But although you can also like press on that and on to right off, of course. Then on this which you get a couple of like, like uh, curved slopes on there and a couple of jumpers just for some reason and they just slot onto the clips white clips in there like so and now onto the arms of which which has a few little ball joint technic bits on top and also these little rounded uh, brick pieces with a dish in them, of course. There's one more on the way, consisting of just snot and with a few uh, tiles again, or curved slopes again, and leading down to the Technic wheel part on there, and also with a few missiles on front, consisting of mostly light gray cones, and also a uh, uh, BB-9E from Star Wars head pieces in light gray. Yeah, of course. And onto the other armor, which is kind of similar build to that, but also with a rapid shot stud shooter where you can like, like turn this switch and it lets them fire off like so. And of course, in this set, do you get about a whole other six studs in case you lose any of them. Well, same case with most sets that have rapid shot stud shooters, of course. And on to this. Oh, also to mention is for the upper part of this torso bill, have the little uh, flag fin pieces, but in yellow, of course. And that's for the uh, top head part. Which does have those rounded plates represented as Eggman's goggles and also uh, brown quarter plates for mustache, of course. And also a dome piece, but in translucent black. Interesting to see there. You can lift it right up since it's on you know, a couple of clip bits. And inside, do have a couple of, or a few uh, red or trans red studs represented as buttons, of course. And also a couple jumper, and also a little jumper plates on there, of course. And of course, enough room to uh, seat Dr. Eggman into, of course. So, and close it right over and, and fits quite well there. And now to see the whole set in action. Okay. 
can see, works out quite well. And for now, on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict, I think this is which a really good set for holidays. Like we get something representative of both one of the classic games and also of Sonic Mania, of course. But also, and of course, good cheap way to get, or cheapish way to get Dr. Eggman, of course, if you didn't want to bother with the most largest set of the wave. And also, and also, but also great to have a cube block, which of course the only reference to Sonic Boom in this whole wave, of course. Although it would be nice if uh, if Orbot also could have been included, but maybe that. But of course, can you always see that in another set eventually? But yeah. And as for obstacle kind of bits to which, I would suggest maybe instead of the ramp include, or maybe do include the ramp, but maybe include yet another. A uh, spiky bit, and, of course, and maybe also along with a, another uh, ring on a dish, of course. And for the uh, main build part, as is, uh, quite uh, well done and also well represented and everything, but yeah. And of course, has good functionality and yeah. And of course, nice and stable to stand up and yeah. And, that, and so now, if you're looking to get this set uh, for your Sonic the Hedgehog set collection, definitely pick this up. And if you are wanting to have some Sonic Mania and Sonic Boom diversity in your Sonic set collection, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.